Hey guys, Tizano here bringing you guys a review of the Razer Death Adder mouse. I've been using this mouse for about six to eight months and I've never had a problem with it since. Uh, the only way you could have a problem with it, well, from my experience, is if you do not install the driver. It's, re it's really crucial that you guys install the driver for this mouse. Um, I tried to use it on a different computer than mine, with obviously without installing a driver because I'm a lazy bastard. And turns out that these two extra buttons here do, are useless if you don't have the driver. And pressing that on the scroll wheel is useless. So you're basically uh, you're, you're basically using a normal normal mouse without adjustable sensitivity or adjustable anything without the driver. So really, the first thing you got to do when you get this mouse, and I've heard it, this with a lot of Razer products, you got to get the driver. It's really really important. Because some of them do not come with, like, I, when I unboxed this, uh, this mouse, it did not come with a CD. I had to go to the website to get the driver. Anyway, let's get started with uh, this, the, the way it looks and how comfortable it is. So the first feature I really enjoy is the way the mouse is conceived. Look at the top of the mouse. You see there's no, like, buttons at the end, and there's just sort of, like, a little area where your finger is, like, forced to rest. But it's really like there's no there's no obstruct. It's really perfectly shaped for your hand to fit on top of it comfortably, and you know you're not gonna get like any like weird blisters or anything. It's just really your hand sits on it perfectly, and there's no problems. I love it. I and the the mouse buttons are fairly easy to press when your when your hand is in that position. Um, another thing I like about it is that these two buttons on the side. When I first got when I first looked at the mouse, I said, "This is unbelievable. You're gonna press these buttons by accident all the time." But these two buttons on the side, they still require a decent amount of force to push them down. Like they're click, you can hear them now. And um, so you know what? I always hold my mouse like this, and I've never pressed them by accident once. I I swear to God, I've never pressed these buttons by accident, and they they work really well. They have a good response time and everything. Um, another thing I like about the mouse is the way the scroll, the scrolling wheel is built. It has sort of like, if you spin it, it has like a bit of intersections everywhere. So it kind of have notches, like you spin it one notch and it brings the page down a certain amount or it zooms out your character a certain amount. And that's really, really useful. And it's silent too. Like it makes like this really small noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it if I scroll it really quickly. And you obviously that's another button you could... It makes a little clicking noise when you press down on it. And uh, the really cool thing about this mouse is the... Um, if you look under it, you see one here, two, and three. It's sort of like a... I don't know what it's made of, honestly, but it makes the mouse slide really well on your mouse pads. Or on, like, any surface, really, but a mouse pad is obviously ideal for a mouse, right? So uh, that's pretty much for the the comfort and the buttons now for the the aesthetics the looks I mean obviously I, at first I thought it looked kinda weird but um, let me fire up the uh, the lights on it so if I plug it in here so now you guys can see it looks like this it's basically there's the razor zinger in the back that turns on and off all the time um, you have an option to turn these off in the driver and uh, th both lights. I think you could. I think there's an option to turn off one of the two. But I'm gonna show you guys the driver right after I'm done with showing you guys the mouse. Well, this is about it. This is what it looks like when it's lit up, and it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty badass looking. I uh, too bad the side buttons don't light up. I would have liked that. But uh, sensitivity wise, this mouse is great. And uh, so let's move on to the driver. I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Yes, welcome back. We're now at the driver part of the review. Um, the driver is really simple and it's really awesome. Um, and honestly, I, this mouse is the best one I've ever had, once again. So, uh, let's get to it. First of all, there's the update button, obviously, and which I, it brings you to the Razor page. And then it tells you, like, you know, all, the, it gives you all the lists and tells you if you're out of date. You can just check and it's very simple. Um, so first of all, there's right hand and left hand, because they make this mouse in both 
uh, right hand and left hand versions so you could select with the driver if you're left-handed or right-handed so that's uh, that's fun to have well it's fun for left-handed gamers anyway um, here you have the light options uh, simple I like I said beforehand I wasn't sure if there was an option a separate option for both lights but there is so you could either turn the scroll button off, off on and off or the glow logo which is the razor logo glowing and uh, you could turn them separately on or off whatever you'd like so now you could so there's there's uh, how many options are there per button one two three four five six seven eight nine so there's pretty much nine options per button uh, they include primary button secondary button pass through double click advanced functions DPI settings switch profiles on the fly sensitivity or button off button off is obviously the button won't work so um, first of all what what I did is that I put three four five as pass throughs, which means they could be used at as macros and whatever you'd like. Um, so you basically, I use three four in like in Diablo or you know COD four, or WoW, all those games. I use all those buttons, so I put them as pass throughs. But you know, you could also put them as double click, so you know you don't have to actually double click. You could just click that and it double clicks for you. You could change because you could have different profiles for your mouse. So you could set a button to change the profile it's on, uh, which is really cool and uh, very you know quick. You know, let's say you're switching tunes in WoW and you need to uh, you you like you're using a different you, your mouse buttons are different depending on your character. Well, there you go, um, you could change it. Um, so all that pretty much the same for each button, even the scroll up, scrolling up, scroll down. Um, here you have the DPI switcher, the polling rate and you have five profile possibilities uh, here if you go to the side you have the sensitivity mine is at maximum uh, you have your scroll speed that could be adjusted uh, you could have your on the fly sensitivity and then you have your double click speed and here you have a little test area which is re I really like that like that's pretty much what it does when you uh, when you double click you can just try it out and stuff play around with it uh, here you have advanced settings which I did not bother trying to mess around with that. I don't want to screw it up. I like it the way it is right now. And you have your X, X axis, Y axis, and enable XY master sensitivity. Um, so that's pretty much it for the driver. Uh, overall, this mouse is great. Um, the only thing you need is the driver. Uh, the only con I have to say about it is I forgot to put it in the video. But the wire is made out of a certain kind of string, and um, whoops, um, the the wire is made out of a string, but it's sort of like a hard string. So when it's packaged and the string is like tied in the bundle, when you when you when you unbox it, it's still a, you know it's like any wire sort of. The problem is with this wire, it does not get straight. Um, only at the spot near the mouse and near the near where the uh, USB plug is is the only place on the wire where it's actually like nice looking the rest is all mangled up but it's mangled up since since I unboxed it that's the only con I have against this mouse the rest of it is great and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my review subscribe favorite and comment